The Nikki Thompson ET drags installed. Again, it took a two step off because it was causing misfire codes. So it's off to a great start. Uh, we're going to go to the track, see if we can get some runs on this guy, get some data, see what we can do. Hopefully, the prep is good. The weather is beautiful. So let's see, see what happens today. So I'm going to fly solo today. Um, I really wish I could have someone be at the line and take video of the car to see how it's launching to see if there's any adjustments that can be made due to the fact that I now have adjustable AFCOs in the back but I'm gonna do my best to go by me by how it feels by how the car is reacting out of the hole I have enough experience with stick shift cars that I kind of know what I'm doing I mean I'm not an expert but you know people kind of come to me when it comes to stick shift stuff especially in these S197s uh, automatic shit on stock stuff you, you'd be fine but I'm gonna do my best to capture video but I have to concentrate on the track today I have to concentrate on the track I have to concentrate on my driving my shift points so the video probably is gonna be secondary so I'll do my best to capture it because if I get a real good round a personal best my personal best is 1042 at 134 that is on C16 in Memphis better weather MT82 better gearing in my opinion I'm on E85 but I'm using about the same amount of timing spark so I don't know if I'm gonna gain much, but the weather's really good today. Hopefully the track's really good today and I can be my personal best. I need to be in the low tens to be competitive in any stick shift event. And that's my that's my intent, that's my purpose for going to the track and testing today. All right, at the track, got teched in, no problem. Beautiful day, it ended up being absolutely gorgeous. A lot of the guys are waiting around for the street guys to leave at three o'clock. The street guys are told to get the hell out and the quote unquote real racers um, get a shot because they prep the track and it's slicks and drag radials only from that point forward. So that's what I'm going to go. I'm going to wait around. I'm going to make sure that the track is uh, prepped and uh, I'll give it a couple of shots, try to get the best video possible. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some good times out of this car with these new tires. First run, car didn't hook, it had too much air in the tires. Second run, I suspect the same thing. I was starting at 17. Now I have them to like 13 or 14 on these stiff walls. It ran a 1090 at, what the hell, I can't see. 1090 at, uh, come on, focus, baby. 1090, 131, and some of you might say that's okay. That, that, that actually sucks for this car in the mods. So I'm um, gonna go ahead, air down. Um, try to keep the left tire away from the sun. That's why you see those car, those covers on a lot of people's wheels. The sun is actually heating up the left tire quicker than the right tire because it's in the shade. So I'm going to make sure I check the pressure right before I pull up to the line just to make sure it's all good. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna try my best to get you guys to pull 
193, I think. I'm so glad it'll focus. It's a, you know, 193, and I left at 4,000. I did a big, massive, soupy burnout. So 1.93, 60 foot. Eighth was 720. I'm not going to get any. I'm not going to get deep 10 unless I get that 60 foot down. So I'm going to air the tires down even more because it feels stable. I'm not going to go to like 10 PSI, but I'm sure it's not going to try 13 or 12. Damn, skippy. Or just wait until they lay more rubber down and see if we can try back a little later in the day and see if it bites a little better. But I'm not, I'm not gonna hot lap this car, that's for sure. The track is moving right along, so I have some time to data log. Um, might as well data log, make sure the car is running healthy, see if there's anything I have to do with the tune. At 135 mile an hour with a, with a one, 193 60 foot, it's promising. The car's doing what I want it to do, so let's take a look at the data, see what we find. Of you guys might be thinking well what's the problem it's running 1080s well, that, look when you can spin out of the hole and run 1080s i guess you know that's not bad but for all the stuff that this car has done to it that shouldn't happen so what did i do i loosened up the shock settings i lowered the air pressure again because it's a stiff wall slick and i'm gonna see what the hell she does and i'm gonna go in the left lane because left or right lane it didn't really matter much so i'm gonna give it another shot See if I can get this sucker at least in the 1050s today. This track is just not there. I can't wait to go to Orlando or South Georgia Motorsports Park where they can actually spell VHT and we'll see if I can run a better time. But right now, 1090s, 1080s, it's not gonna cut it. Well, I guess I'm doing a solo pass.
watch was fucking perfect. Uh, what I did was, on the shocks, full loose. Full fucking loose, let the tire do the work, 11 PSI. Um, I hot lapped the car, so and then it nosed over, so I think I hit the, the, the hard limiter, basically. So I think the cam's reverted. I don't know when I look at the vlog, but... 149, 60 foot. I saw that on the board, and I was like, woo! Look, let's do it. I might hot lap this bitch one more time, because it launched so good. Let her cool down, see what happens. Very cool. I just went up against an eight-second car, and he pushed my shit in royally, so... But you know what? When I went full loose on the shocks, the tire did most of the work, and it cut a 149. The best I was cutting was a 159. Now I cut a 149. Now, why did I only go a thousandth quicker? Because I think I got to be quicker on the 3 4 shift. I think I'm hitting some funky limiter. So I'm going to I'm gonna hit the 3 4 shift at about 7100 7, and then see if I can just carry carry that out off the, off the back and um, see if I can keep the momentum. So there you have it. Went to the track, did some testing. The UPR suspension did what it's supposed to do. The tires did what they're supposed to do. It's just a matter of getting more data, getting out there. The Mantic clutch held up great. The Ben Calamar T56 worked great. The guys from Tradition Motorsports came out, took some video, helped me out with air pressures. I, I got lucky today that people were willing to help out. So I'll be going back to the track after I come back from SEMA, do some, uh, do some uh, testing, get ready for the Mod Motor Nationals. Compete, hopefully, you know, get up there, defend the title, because I'm the defending champ, so I got to bring back the crown and uh, bring back that money so I can pay for the next round of uh, modifications that are going to be done to the Fairmont. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.